Hi Scorpio, welcome back to my channel, Karma Fox. I am doing your monthly reading for September 2022. I do want to remind you guys that this is a general reading. It may not resonate with everyone. Also keep in mind that the monthly readings are predictive in nature. So if these events are not occurring right now, they could be occurring in the next few weeks. Um, I am also giving away another free reading, uh, personal tarot reading. So if you are interested in that, the way you would qualify for that drawing, which will be at the end of the month, is to subscribe to the channel. Be sure to hit the like button and also drop me a comment. So let's get started, guys. Spirit, can I have the energy of Scorpio? Scorpio. Spirit. All right, Scorpio, you are starting out with the Six of Swords. Now, this is crossed with the Seven of Cups. Okay. So, you're moving away from something that you have found to be chaotic. And you may be looking at different options, but there could also be some confusion here. Let's see what's happened in the past. Three of Wands in the reverse. You may have just decided um, recently that this is not where your future really lies, that this is not going to pan out for you. Um, for some of you, I feel like you're almost sneaking away, though. It's like you, you're you um, not being very overt about it. Um, and I am seeing a fall time frame around more, more November, but possibly October. Why is all this happening? Well, we have the Seven of Swords, which tells me the same thing, that it's almost like you're um, strategizing here. You're trying to, to kind of sneak away from a situation. And I don't say that in a negative connotation. Um, it may be that it's just uncomfortable. Now, for some of you, there could be a situation where somebody had options and they were exercising those options and... You know, that would have involved deception of some sort. And you may be moving away from that. It, for some of you, it could have been you. And you're moving forward um, away from another relationship that you decided it was not for you. What's on your mind is the Three of Swords. Understanding that there's, it's going to be very painful here. Um, some of you are journaling about this, but knowing that there is something that's going to be painful involved with this. Now, what you don't see coming is the Knight of Cups in the reverse. So that could be um, holding back emotions. We'll, we'll clarify just to be sure. I am sensing that there is um, something that may be seen as a bit dangerous or a bit um, possibly um, not healthy about this offer. And so it could be an offer that you're turning down or refusing. Um, how you're showing up is a Nine of Pentacles in the reverse. That's interesting. So... You're showing up here um, experiencing a loss. Now, for some of you, this could be financial, so be aware of that. Um, make sure you're being careful with your money during September. The energy coming towards you is the Four of Pentacles in the reverse. Somebody who is releasing and letting go. Now, it might be that they're releasing and letting go of a situation, another person. We'll have to see. Um, let's look at Spirit's advice. The world in reverse. Spirit's saying there's something here that's not complete. Something is not over. A cycle has not completed just yet. Let's see why, or, or see what the outcome is at the end of the month. Page of Pentacles reversed. Now, in this particular deck, this is a almost like um, trying to decide which way to go. So, what we see here is somebody that is really at a crossroads and doesn't know which way to go, and literally just tosses a, co co 
a coin up into the air to let fate decide. Now this is in reverse, and so this is telling me that there's a reluctance to move forward. Um, there's a reluctance to take either path. At the bottom of the deck is the Seven of Pentacles in the reverse. This is underlying energy, and the underlying energy is a lack of investment, whether that be you or the other person, or it can also be that the investment that you have put in has not turned out the way you thought it would, and you may be seeing this as a poor investment. So let's clarify this because I'm getting the feeling here, Scorpio, that something here has not turned out the way you thought it was going to. Okay, so we have the hangman. We have the six of swords in the reverse and we have the knight of swords. Okay, so somebody here was feeling very stuck and for a very long time, I do feel that, I feel like you are moving forward from something that was chaotic, something you felt stuck in, something that it took you a long time to find out the truth about or to communicate about. I do see that some truth has been spoken here and that has been what is changing this situation. And that truth has taken a long time to come out. Let's see why the Seven of Cups is here. Why is the Seven of Cups here? Yeah, I feel like you felt for some reason you couldn't move forward before and now that's changed and it changed because of a truth. Maybe it was a communication. Somebody told you the truth. It just took a long time for it to come out though. And a long time for you to be able to move forward. It may have taken a long time for you to speak truth. Oof. Okay, so we have the Hermit and the Ace of Cups. So what's crossing this is um, there's a new beginning in love. That somebody's had a new beginning in love. And this is the truth that has come out. It could be dealing with a Virgo. Um, but I'm seeing that somebody had a new beginning in love or they're thinking about it. There could be options. So I'm seeing soul searching. And it might be that that you're considering it, you're thinking about it, you're you're trying to figure out, is that something that is viable? Is it something that's advisable? Um, let's look at the past. The Wheel of Fortune and the Seven of Coins. So in the past, in the past, there was um, something here that you made up your mind wasn't going to happen. There, It just wasn't going to come forward. It wasn't going to be um, everything you th had thought it would be. Or if it could be something you invested in already. Um, and it turned out to be different than what you thought. It, it wasn't what you thought it would be. Um, or it could be that... Um, and I feel like this is the most likely, is that it just didn't turn out. And so now there's a change here. I feel like there's a change and there's something that you do want to invest in. And so you're moving forward. You're moving away from something that didn't turn out the way you thought it would. And you're moving towards something that looks better that you do want to invest in. It's a change and it is actually a change for the better Scorpio. I think you have another option here from what you had in the past. Something in the past disappointed you. It made you feel that 
everything that you were investing in was for no good reason. And it took you a long time to get to this point, but, and you were very stuck for a long time, but there was some, some truth that was spoken or you've spoken the truth, but I am seeing that there's a new beginning in love that you're contemplating. It's an option for you. You're trying to figure out is this what I really want to do? Do I really want to invest in this? Um, why is the Seven of Swords here? This is why everything is happening. It's the Seven of Swords. All right, we have the Ace of Pentacles reversed. And we have the Four of Coins. Now, the energy coming towards you is that same Four of Coins, but it's reversed so, you were holding on to something or someone that there was an ending with. And that ending was deceptive. There was a, a this, this person, and this person is coming towards you. This person is going to be approaching you in September. Um, but that energy that they had was deceptive. There was something that was you know, lying, cheating, stealing, you were holding on to this person. Even though you were guarded, you were still holding on to this person. The connection had ended, but you had not been able to let go. And I feel like now a new person has entered your life and you're, you're really doing some soul searching. I feel like you may have done some healing during this time. What's on your mind is the Three of Swords. Let's look at that. Now, that could have been third-party energy. Yeah, Queen of Wands. Queen of Wands can sometimes be a third party. And the Eight of Wands reversed. So, something very painful. It could have involved a third party. And you've blocked this person. Or they blocked you. Um... That's for some of you. For others, I'm seeing a, a, that uh, you're thinking about something that is extremely painful. And I feel like you are aware that you're very attractive. You're aware that you, you basically have it going on here. Um, and I feel like you, you may have had your passions ignited by someone else. And now you are blocking the person that, that hurt you in the past. Or you're thinking about it. You're thinking about taking action towards the other person, the new person, and blocking the person who hurt you. So you're, you're considering this. You're doing soul searching. I feel like you're finally able to let go of somebody that, that was deceptive and not what they should have been in this connection. It, it was a connection that ended due to deception. And now you have somebody else that is, I, I feel like it's a, a very, very nice energy and it's a new beginning. It's like you're finally seeing the truth of the situation that you were stuck in. Let's look at September and see what's coming in because we have this Knight of Cups in the reverse. It makes me wonder if this person from the past is going to show up and you turn them down. I don't know. Let's see. Why is the Knight of Cups in the reverse? All right, so we have the Nine of Swords reversed. We have the Two of Swords reversed. We have the Two of Cups. We have the Two of Wands. Definitely a decision here. Wow, because you've got two, two, two. We have the Ten of Cups. 
we have the Ace of Wands, Ten of Coins Reversed, the Hierophant, and the High Priestess. Um, and having the Hierophant come out with the High Priestess side by side, that is a very, very spiritual connection there. This is, um, this is a spiritual couple. So this is very, um, that's strong energy there. Wow. That's very strong energy. So let's see what we have. So I do see an offer of love being turned down. There's an element of danger to this. It's perceived as being risky. Um, so it's turned down. Now, I feel like it's you that's turning down this offer. Um, and it's because it's a situation that you're, you've gotten over a situation that you, you had so much heartache and just you, you, sleepless nights. You were upset, crying, um, just distraught. And now you're kind of over it. You've gotten over it. So I feel like, I feel like in the beginning of September, you're kind of moving past that because there's a decision here and it took a long time to make this decision to let love come back into your life. You're opening your heart to love and there is somebody in particular that you have your, your eye on. There's also someone that you will be turning down. So I see you opening up. I see a new relationship coming in um, around the first week or so of September. By the second week of, of September, I see you turning down another connection because you, you want to be happy. And this person that's coming towards you, it's somebody that you wanted to have a family with. You wanted to have everything. You're turning this person down because they're coming in wanting a new beginning, but it's sexual in nature. They're, they're approaching you in a sexual manner. The, the other person, the new person, is approaching you in a loving manner. So you're basically accept you're you're accepting the love. It's a healthy love that you're accepting and you're turning down a toxic connection. Now, there will be a sense of loss. I do see that and also be very careful because that's twice I've gotten a message uh, Scorpio, for you to watch your money because I'm seeing about the end of the month, like the the in the the final week of September, I'm seeing a financial loss. So I I want you to be very careful about that because I I am seeing that um you you need to be careful with your money, particularly at the end of September. Um. But with regard to the person from the past, you're releasing that person. You're letting them go. And once you release and let that person go, the bigger commitment comes through with the new person. That will be at the end of September. And it's a very spiritual connection. It's extremely spiritual connection. The both of you are very spiritually uh, minded very perceptive, um, very, <laughs> it, it's a spiritual connection. Now, now your person could be a, a spiritual leader of some sort. You could also be, um, you could be like a tarot reader or a psychic. Um, even if you just, you know, do, do it for fun or on, on your own. I, I'm seeing it that you, Scorpio, are extremely perceptive, at least through September, and I feel like this is your energy period. But the person that you have come upon, the new person, they are as well. 
and the two of you are extremely well suited. You're going to be very happy in this connection. And I think that you are using your intuition here um, as you walk away from this other connection. You're turning down that love offer because you realize that although it could be exciting and fun, it's not everything it's cracked up to be. And when they do approach you, I feel, and they're going to approach you, um, when they do approach you, they're, they're approaching in a sexual manner, it looks like. I do feel that that will be probably around the middle of the month that they will come in. This new love is in the beginning of the month, but it's going to really solidify once you wrap everything up with this past person. Now, let's look at your energy, Scorpio. All right, we have the Strength card. We have the Three of Coins reversed. And we have the Nine of Wands. So you are going to see this as a, a loss, the, the past person. You're going to struggle a little bit with this because it was a very strong connection and it, it was a long connection. But I think that you are going to be strong in the situation. Um, I also feel like you are working on yourself. There, I, I feel like this past connection was very codependent and had some unhealthy um, things to it. And I see you working on yourself and overcoming some internal things. This person, this new person that you might have met, it's a spiritual connection. And that's going to be very instrumental in helping you to work on yourself and also to um, have the strength to turn down this toxic relationship, you will be realizing that there's no foundation in that connection. And I do feel that um, you're going to sever any ties you have with that person. Um, but you will see it as a loss because this person, it, it was very painful. And I do see that it was painful, but you're going to... You're going to put it behind you. And I do think, too, that you you eye this person. When they come back in, you're going to be eyeing them very <laughs> suspiciously because of their past behavior. So, all right. So, we have the Knight of Pentacles reversed. We have the Six of Cups reversed. And the tower reversed. This is a karmic. This looks like a karmic relationship. Um, they came to teach you certain lessons that only a karmic can teach. This is the person who, you know, released the connection in the past. They may be very bad with their money. They could be coming in also asking for money. They may have lost some money. So that might be where some of this money loss is coming from. So be careful with that, Scorpio, especially if you've had somebody, you know, in the past that has, you know, drained your money and, and you've let them. Be careful with that because you'll want to institute those boundaries. But this person is coming in and I do feel like they don't have a penny to their name, honestly. I'm also feeling like... This is the person who, when things got rough between the two of you, they bailed. They they snuck out a window kind of deal. Um, they were moving slow to begin with, and they j just stalled out and, and kept you stuck. So it was, you were stuck in a relationship where they were not giving. You may have been the one giving repeatedly but they were not giving and there's an indication that that's that energy has not changed when the two of you broke apart it caused a tower moment for you and 
they're coming back in full of promises about how it's going to be different this time and that the two of you can, you know, build this connection back together and it'll be so much better. But I don't think that that's the case because I don't see their energy being any different. Um, let's look at Spirit's advice. Why is the world here? So the world is in reverse, and this tells me that there's something here that hasn't quite ended, and you're being warned about that. It's possible it's not ended because this person is coming back in, and it's basically it's time to see, have you learned what you needed to learn from this karmic connection? All right, so you have the six of cup or six of coins. You have the fool. And you have the five of coins in the reverse. Yeah, it's not over because you're you're being given a choice here. You're going to have to choose. You're you're going to have to find the balance. You have to choose who you're going to give your attention to. Are you going to give your attention to someone who appreciates it? Are you going to take that new beginning? Or are you going to give your attention to the person who, you know, just takes? So you've got somebody here that's a taker. They take, they take, they take, they take, they take. And you've got somebody that wants a new beginning with you. It's a brand new beginning. It's um, a beautiful new beginning as well. So what are you going to do? Are you going to bring the past person back or are you going to take the new beginning? And it's really going to be your choice. So Spirit is saying you have a choice here. This is your lesson. And what are you going to do? What What are you going to do? All right. So let's see. <laughs> I hope that you're not just stalling out and not making a decision. It doesn't look like that because it looks like you, you are. Okay. So why is the page of pentacles in reverse? For Scorpio, why? Okay, thank you, Spirit. All right, we have the page of wands in the reverse. We have the seven of swords reverse. And we have the three of swords. Now, that's what's on your mind. So... I do think that, I do think you hit a crossroads here. I think you are going to have a difficult time making this decision. Um, but ultimately, I see you making a decision. I see you understanding that there's deception. This person is being deceptive and it's just going to hurt you all over again. I do think that you're going to wind up blocking this person. Your new person could be a fire sign um, or, or possibly the old person. Somebody might be a fire sign. That would be an Aries, Leo, or a Sagittarius. Um, but I do see you basically, you're going to get some bad news is what's going to happen. You're going to find something out and it's going to reveal the deception that this person has not changed. It's deception. And it's going to hurt you. Because you're going to be confused. You're going to be, like, right at the end of the month, you're going to be confused. You're going to be like, I don't know what to do. And then you're going to find something out. And when you do, it, it's going to be a, something deceptive, just like before. And just like before, it's going to be very painful and that's what's going to cause you to say, I'm done. I'm taking an L on this. I'm out. I'm done. And actually, Scorpio, it's not even your loss. It's theirs. But it's a, if you look at this from a soul perspective, this person is here to teach you this. They're playing the, the role that they're supposed to because they're a karmic. They're supposed to be teaching you this. All right, so bottom of the deck is the Knight of Wands in the reverse. And what that tells me is that you are going to cut off somebody that you see as a player. You're going to just let them go, release them entirely. But I do think that'll be towards the end of the month. All right, 
I'm going to pull you an oracle. Let's see what you got. Oh, you got two. Okay, so the first one you have is appetite. Um, it says progress, not perfection. Don't compare yourself to others or judge yourself. Instead, focus upon how far you've come and everything that you've learned. Beautiful. And you are. You're learning a lot. And then you have Larimar. Sensitive emotions, times of heightened emotions and sensitivity call for extra self-care and gentleness. Oh, that's beautiful. Yeah, so be, be don't judge yourself. Um, make sure that you're giving yourself a lot of self-care and be gentle with yourself here, Scorpio. These are difficult lessons to learn. Okay, I hope this has been helpful. If you um, are excited about the idea of having a free personal tarot reading, be sure to uh, subscribe to the channel, hit that thumbs up button, and also drop me a comment, and I will put you into the drawing for the month of September. Until I see you in the weeklies, namaste.